Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have some spooky candles to share with you guys. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to my little candle haul. I guess I'll start with this little guy over here. Um, this one's not very spooky, but I really like the color. It's perfect for fall. And it is made in Spain. I actually got it from Home Goods. $5.99. And this smells absolutely divine. Those are the notes right there, but I definitely smell the jasmine. And I love jasmine scented anything. Oh my gosh. I wish it was a little bigger. Um, because I just love this scent so much, but this was the only one that I could find. Next, we have this beauty, and it has the moon on one side, and this was $9.99, which is pretty pricey, but I really, really liked this, like the glass of it, really nice, very thick. And let's see, does it have notes on here? No, let's see. I am not sure how to describe the scent, but it smells like a men's cologne, like a nighttime men's cologne, and it smells so, like, sexy and handsome, and oh my gosh, I just love the scent. I love men's cologne scents in general, so if you don't like men's cologne scents, this would not be for you, but this smells like a sexy man at night. This candle also happened to match some new things I got from Home Goods, which was a tea towel and a throw blanket, which I believe are in another haul. Um, I, I'm not sure which video is going up first, if it's this one or that one, but I will either way link that video down below for you guys. Moving on, I really wanted a pumpkin scented candle this year, so um, I got this one. This one is also from Home Goods. Let's see, $12.99. This is the Heirloom Pumpkin Scented Candle. And I really liked this canister. I feel like once the candle is all burnt up, I can use this for something else. And let's see, oh gosh, if I can open it. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells like fall in a candle. Like, absolutely, perfectly pumpkin Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I forgot how good this smelled. Let me see if this has any notes on here. None of these have any notes, really? Oh gosh. But this smells just just the perfect spicy pumpkin smell. Not too strong, um, but not too weak. It kind of reminds me of Perfect Pumpkin from uh, Bath and Body Works. So if you like that candle, then this will be perfect for you. And let's see, we have this guy, which I was drawn to the container for sure. It was so, so cool. I've never seen something like this. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, something from I Dream of Genie. Really, really pretty. Um, let me see. This was $9.99 from Home Goods. And I guess the scent is Smoky Mountain. Bougie perfume. <laughs> Let's see, does it have any notes? No notes. Ugh. Anyways, um, it came with this pendant of a snake, which is uh, quite interesting. And I thought about using it for one of my potion bottles. I'm making some potion bottle, like, craft things for decoration. And I think this will be perfect. But this scent is also so good. This also smells like a men's cologne, but much more fresh. Kind of like um, Aqua Di Gio meets a candle. <laughs> but it also smells like, well, yeah, it smells like Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Huh. Um, my husband really liked this scent and he's like, oh yeah, we're getting that candle. And he rarely reacts to candles that way, so I jumped at the chance to get this. I really like the color too. It matches our blue carpet, so this will be perfect. And finally, on to the last candle. This also was from Home Goods, 
and let's see, $9.99. It just says Halloween night. Does it have the, it doesn't have any notes on this either, does it? Oh, I guess not. I was obviously really drawn to the packaging of this. I love pumpkins and the oil slick was so pretty. And this scent, I do not know how to describe the scent. It does not smell pumpkin-y at all, but it smells very Indian. I don't know how to, like a, like Indian soap. And I, if I think of the name of the soap, I'll like put a picture right here somewhere. But oh my goodness, this transported me back to my childhood. And it was so weird because even when my husband smelled it, he was like, oh my gosh, I know that scent. And we just, we couldn't place it. Um, I think he said the name of the soap, but I totally forgot now. But it smells really, really good. <laughs> really, um, it also reminds me a lot of, I think it's called Lush, the place where they sell soaps and bath bombs and stuff. There's something that they have that smells just like this as well. So anyways, if you do get a chance to sniff this, please do. It is strong, so be careful. Just waft it. <laughs> but really, really nice scent. I, of course, love all of these scents because I chose them, but you know, they're all quite different. This one's very florally. This one smells like a man. This one's very pumpkin spicy. This one smells like a man, but a different man. This is like a man in the mountains. This is a man at uh, dinner at night. And this one is different altogether. That is my little candle collection for this year. I I have to say I have quite the variety, which is really nice. There's something for everyone. I even love all the containers of the candles. So pretty, and I know I can use them for other crafts and decor in the future. I did get some other random items, so I thought I would just include it in this haul. This is hair gel, which I will be using for a Halloween craft that I will be doing, which you will see in the Halloween Decorate With Me. Those videos are coming up, so make sure to subscribe. And I got that from Dollar Tree, as well as this sign, which says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I thought this would be perfect for fall or Thanksgiving and um, for the coffee bar specifically. I was mainly drawn to the shape of this sign. I just love the shape. It looks so pretty and I don't know, just, just there's just something about this shape that I absolutely love. And these next two items are from Ross. This is a sign, an apothecary shop potions, poisons, elixirs sign. And this was such a steal. This is like heavy duty wood. Like this feels so heavy and nice and well made. And I also like the shape of this as well. And I thought this would look so perfect in my little mug display. Um, I'll link that video down below. I recently organized and displayed all my mugs, but this was only $6.99, which is crazy. I, I, I'm so glad that I found this at Ross. It was literally the last one and it was just waiting for me there. And I cannot remember if I shared this with you guys, but I did get this little teacup. Um, it says arsenic on the inside, which is something I always wanted. I've seen these type of teacups everywhere, even on Etsy, and I think even Michaels has some, but this one was just so pretty. I loved the um, black and gold. I was not a huge fan of the skeleton, but I mean, I, I guess it just adds to the vibes. This just reminds me of something that Morticia Adams would be like drinking her tea, like early morning tea in. This just gives me that vibe. So this was just perfect. I almost forgot to include this. I did not get it until I think like October 3rd when it released, literally. Like as soon as it released, I was on top of it. Well, I sent my husband out to get it for me. So <laughs> this is the new Mina Lima, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban book. I'm so excited about this. I haven't even taken the plastic off yet. I've been waiting to share this with you guys, but look how beautiful. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. And I do have the first two books already. These are literally my most favorite and treasured books in my whole library. And I have a lot of books. These are just my favorite. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. And I actually got this from Barnes and Noble. If you bought it from Barnes and Noble, you got this 
poster for Mina Lima. Apparently they did this for the first and second books as well, but I did not know about this. So I bought them off of Amazon. But from now on, I'm totally getting it from Barnes & Noble because these prints are amazing. Look how cool. That's the night bus. I can't wait to display this in my Harry Potter room, which I don't know if that video has gone up yet. I've definitely at this point have not filmed it yet, but it's, it's coming, okay? I transformed one of my closets actually <laughs> um, into my Harry Potter room and it looks so cool. There is an empty space on the wall um, and I think this would be perfect. Hopefully it fits. I don't know. I'll have to get a frame and see if it fits, but I think this will be perfect. Please subscribe so you don't miss my reveal of my Harry Potter room. It's probably my favorite room in my entire house. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. Alrighty, my loves. So that was it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.